Because why? How do you know you can't do it if you don't even try? Fine, this is so pointless. Come on, let's go. Hey, you guys done with these? Yeah, we're good. All right, I'll hold the ball like this, and you kick it as far as you can. No, seriously, I can't. Like, I'm probably gonna kick your hand. You're not gonna kick my hand. Just take a few steps back. Fine. That was so good. That was awesome. I told you you could do it. Thank you. Okay, go get it. I didn't even see where it landed. It's just somewhere in those bushes. Okay. Okay. Hey, bring it over here. This is all you got? Don't be mean to her. Things are slow. How are we supposed to eat? Yeah, what she said. They tried. Aw, you tried? Try harder. Ugh, fine. Lily, take the clothes down to the laundromat. And try using the time to study. Why? School is so unnecessary. If you keep failing English, then the school's going to want to talk to your parents, and then we are all done for. I'll kill you if you get us caught. And Lily. Don't fall asleep this time. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Still think someone else should do it. Stop whining. Hey, without her, we'd all be back in the system. I'm not going back to the system. Here, put this away. Looking for this? Thanks. You go to Meadowlark, right? Yeah. I'm Sally. Bethany. Do you all live here? Don't tell anyone. We'll just end up back in the system or worse. We're fine here. We take care of each other. <laughs> Don't your parents tell you not to talk to strangers? I've seen this one dumpster diving. <laughs> Watch out for her. Not true. It's too. Ew, gross. She talks, yuck. Ew, come on, guy. <laughs> Jerks. You can come in if you want. Okay. I hate dirt. Hey, that dirt is so much cleaner now. What is she doing here? Are you gonna tell on us? Ebony, where are you? Yeah, coming! She better go. I guess we don't need anyone else finding out we're here. I won't tell anyone. I promise. See that's cool? Yeah, uh, okay. Are you sure? You're adopted. You're happy, right? Well, yeah, but my parents were all I've ever known. Maybe you can tell them that hiding is a big mistake. How? She was adopted as a baby. These kids are old now. So this is gonna sound bad, but who wants them? You guys, there's gotta be someone. Look around, we have everything. They're living in the dirt with nothing. Bethany, I get it, you wanna help, but don't you think this is more than we can handle? Um, maybe not. Dumb. Hand it over. No way, we stole it fair and square. Please, we're hungry. You wouldn't take food from a poor hungry girl and your poor hungry sister and your poor hungry sister's friend, would you? Watch me. Our team lives for these snacks. Except for the yogurt cranberries. Those things are disgusting. <coughs> now 
Nice work. Come on, we'll find something better. Okay. This place is getting so gross. My mom says, and I don't really understand this, but she said something about property values. Homeless people drive down property values. Don't get it. Check it out, two o'clock. Hey guys, that math test today was super hard, right? Are you talking to us? We're in the same class. Because we don't talk to people like you. Yeah, we don't talk to people like you. What else? Let's go. Sue's been on the street the longest. Her dad, he did some pretty bad things. She ended up in a rough foster care, so she ran away. Our parents were deported to Mexico a few years ago. They tried to separate us, so we ran away and came here. They'd do that? Of course. I just can't believe you guys are safer in this park than in somebody's home. All we are to the system is a bunch of case files, just bouncing back and forth with the trash bag. My last foster parent didn't even bother to learn my name. He just wanted the money. I'm not some cute little baby. No one wants to adopt older kids. We have too much baggage. We all have the same kind of story. Besides, we like it here. And Sue makes sure we do our homework. She takes care of us. This place makes sense for us. Look, we all want more, but that's just not what life gave us. That's Sue. You better go. Okay. It's time to eat. Okay. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. What if I knew something, but I promised not to tell? But I know if I did tell, I could maybe possibly help. Did I break the promise? If you think you can help, why wouldn't you? Thanks. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I know we all aren't BFFs here, but what we do have in common is we all know what's going on at Hill State Park. We all know that those girls could be in danger living in that park by themselves. Yeah, I wouldn't go into the park at night. I think I have an idea of a way to help them. Yeah, deodorant. <laughs> yeah. Guys, come on. Just listen to what she has to say. Did you know that one quarter of the homeless populations are kids? Yeah, but those girls go to school, and there are tons of services to help them. But these girls, they're afraid to get help. Unfortunately, it's harder for the older girls to find a family. So they've decided that no one will want them. What's this got to do with us? Jeez, just try and think about somebody other than yourselves for a change. I was adopted, and without my parents, who knows where I'd be? Wait, wait a minute. Are you getting ready to say that you want us to convince our parents to take these kids in? Are you crazy? My mom can barely handle me and my brother. There's that's no way. No way. That's no way. No way. All right, guys, they're just regular kids like us, and they need someone to help them. Come on, guys. If we ask our parents and use our best begging techniques, they maybe at least meet them? I know it's a crazy thing to ask, but if we all did it, how could our parents say no? Yeah, our parents are always telling us about how they want us to grow up to be good people who care about others. Let's use it against them. They'll have to set an example. She's got a point. Every year my parents try to convince me to have my friends donate to charity instead of giving me gifts. It's their dream I grow up and save the world. So, what do you guys think? We all in? Come on, yeah, guys. we can do this. If you're all doing it, we look like selfish jerks if we don't. So we do it? Seriously? Mm-hmm. Fine, I'm in. Thank you. What's going on? You barely touched your dinner. I met these girls at Hill State Park. There's one in particular, Sally. She's super sweet. Well, that's great. So what's going on? She's homeless. She lives at the park under a bush. Oh, sweetie. I want us to adopt her. What? No. Honey, it doesn't work like that. Why not? You're a lawyer. You help people every day. And you said yourself, it's our obligation to help those who can't help themselves. I did say that, but... It
will not be down for this. But can't you get her to listen? For all we know, Bethany's mom has already called child services. My mom is a civil rights attorney. She works to protect and help all different kinds of people. She wouldn't do that. What's in it for her? What do you mean? Every adult has an angle. What's hers? How is she going to make money off of us? My mom would never do this to make money. She spends her life trying to help people. Bethany, we've survived by not trusting adults. You can't blame us for being scared. Why are you scared? We just want to help. That's exactly what every adult has said to us. I'm sorry, but my mom means what she says and she never lies. We just want to talk. What's the harm in that? Please, Camille. You're the only one Sue listens to. Sue, we barely have enough to feed everyone. I know you haven't eaten in two days. This could be our chance. Buying into the fantasy that someone will come rescue us? I thought you were smarter than that. I am smart, as smart as you. You're just scared of giving up control. No, I'm not. I can't believe you want us to live like this. You're a moron. Just meet them. I don't want to sleep in the dirt anymore. So they said they won't call child services? I don't believe that. I want a real bed indoors. A bathroom. Oh, a kitchen. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Stop it. All of you. So I haven't done enough for you? We're not saying that. I've worked my butt off making sure you don't go back to foster care. Sue. Can you please listen? Fine, talk to these girls. They don't care about you. They just want to brag that they helped the poor homeless girls in the park. God, you are nuts. You don't even know them. And you do? Sue, stop it. You want to go back to the system? Fine, go ahead. I'm tired of taking care of you idiots. I'm not going back. You're on your own. Wait, Sue. You got what you wanted, Camille. You're in charge now. What are we gonna do? I'm scared. I guess we meet the parents. So we printed out tons of services for you guys. That puts us back into the system. And we're not going back. Okay. Can I say something? We want to help if you'll let us. The parents here have all made a promise. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We're listening. We understand your situation, and we are not going to call child services unless you want us to. Yeah, but can we trust you? Yes, you can trust us. We want to help. If you decide that you want to stay with any of these families, I will do whatever it takes to make that happen. And if you decide you all want to stay here in the park, then we'll get you whatever you need. It's your choice. That seems fair. Yeah, yeah. Seems that's fair. Yeah. 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 So now what do we do? We'll meet and greet. I'll show you. Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go. Hi. 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 Where's Sue? She left. I'm sorry. She didn't believe me. She'll come back. Hope. Let's go meet my mom. <laughs>